In order to make better sound recordings with your iPad, you first must understand how a sound recording works. So what is exactly a sound recording? A sound recording consists of two elements, a sound wave and a sound receiver. In this case, our receiver is a microphone. So where is my microphone located on my iPad? Well, the microphone is located in two places at the top of the device near the headphone jack, located here and here. The number one thing to keep in mind if you'd like to make a good sound recording is your mouth's relation to these microphones, just like a telephone. Things that make audio recordings sound bad. There are three things that come to mind immediately when I think about sound, bad sound recordings. The first one is sound pressure levels. Certain microphones like certain pressures. As you can imagine, as your mouth gets closer to the microphone, the sound pressure increases. The iPad mic cannot withstand your mouth being very close to the microphone. This is because the microphone on the iPad has a certain sound pressure level that it likes. As your mouth gets closer and louder to the microphone, you will see by this VU meter, which measures sound pressure levels, that your voice begins to clip. Clipping creates distortion. Distortion is bad unless you're in a punk rock band, and then distortion is cool. But you're a teacher. Distortion is not cool. The next thing is noise floor. Noise floor has all to do with how far your mouth is away from the microphone. If your mouth is way over here, you'll notice that you hear a lot of <laughs> sounds. That's a noise floor. Noise floor is bad. That's, you need a good signal-to-noise ratio. The signal in this case is your mouth, your mouth's relation to the microphone. Another thing to keep in mind while recording audio is plosives. Plosives are hard consonant sounds. Microphones t, t, p, p, d, d, do not like plosives. Microphones do not like high, do not, do not like plosives because plosives have high sound pressure levels. And going back to what I was saying earlier, the mic tends to clip when there are hard consonant sounds or plosives. So let's recap here. How to make good sound recordings with the iPad. First and foremost, the most important thing to know when making a good sound recording with your iPad is how far your mouth is from the microphone. The microphone is located at the top of the iPad, on the back of the iPad, near the headphone jack. Do not hold your iPad like this. That's bad. Why? Because your hand is covering up the microphone on the back of this iPad, and it sounds like this. So either you are going to amplify the sound, or you are going to muffle the sound. Do not hold the iPad um, in landscape. That's bad. Hold it like this, where the microphone's up here, unobstructed, 